Hi, my name is Kendall and I own the blog Allure Beneath the Stars. I'm a fashion blogger from Oildale, California. Well, I'm a personal fashion blogger, so what I do is I go out in outfits that I would normally go out in and take photos of them and then um, upload them onto my blog, talk about my outfit, and show them to my followers. My style is along the lines of I keep, try to keep it alternative, but I like to go into a lot of different categories like um, preppy, goth, grunge, uh, I just keep it diverse. Alright, so street style, it's um, how people present themselves on the daily. It, like I said, it's very diverse and it has a lot of variety to it. So it can stem from many things. It can be representing of a culture, of what's seen in magazines today, on television, anything. It has a lot of like inspiration from different sources behind it. So it tends to be very like different all the time depending on the person you see it on. Street style isn't really just one thing. It's how individuals dress that take pride in how they present themselves daily. Um, you know, it can, it's not really a definite style, it's just how people dress. So. The, it's very diverse. You can find anything. You can look at Japanese street style and it'll be completely different from how street style in New York is represented. And in New York, each one of those people there that have a fashion blog, they're going to all de dress differently. I would say people that generally do blogging and YouTubing on all that dedicated to fashion, they're people who, they don't have to necessarily be models, but a lot of people who get into blogging and everything turn into models. They just get into the career of doing that. Yeah. Um, but I would say it's a lot of just normal people who stumble into it. I've just always been into fashion. I don't know why, I've just always dressed weird since I've been young. People have always thought I was a little weird since elementary school and on. Um, my mom, she dressed, she used to dress up a lot, even my dad back in like the 80s, they've always been really connected to how they dress and I just come from an artistic family so I feel like how I express myself is through my clothing. I'd say the most exciting things that have happened to me during blogging has been the fact that I've met so many people that I would have normally never met. like just other bloggers who are really artistic and cool and stuff from like New York, LA. Um, I've met brands personally. That's been really exciting is just having the social network. That's really cool to make bonds with people that you normally wouldn't in somewhere like Bakersfield, which tends to be a little more conservative and everything. Um, also, I think working with some companies like PacSun and Puma, and then I've worked with Rob Dyrdek and his sunglasses brand. That's been really cool too. I've been really proud to represent those big companies. <laughs> My personal influences on how I dress really change all the time. It just uh, depends on what I'm liking at the moment. Right now I'm really into how Rihanna dresses, so I take a lot of inspiration from her. I'd say something that's always constant that inspires me is um, Kind of how my mom dressed when she was a teenager. I still, that's something that I'll always draw from. And other bloggers in the blogosphere always inspire me too. My ultimate goal as a fashion blogger, I'd say, is to just keep inspiring people. So there's really no like top limit that I want to reach, like a big goal, like I want to get this famous in the blogging industry or anything like that. I just want to keep inspiring people. So really it's just a hobby that I really love. <laughs> if there was one brand that I had to work with, because I've hit so many like street style brands like Converse and Billabong and whatnot, I think it'd be really cool to work with more of a designer brand like um, Dolce & Gabbana or Chanel. 
To be able to represent one of those people would be really awesome. <laughs> Growing up in Bakersfield, it can be a little intimidating if you are leaning towards being artistic and everything, since it's a little more of a conservative town. But that doesn't mean that it's like suppressing you in your art. You just have to be able to to take like full force of what you want to represent and put it out there. Because, I mean, people are going to accept you the more you work at it. And even if they don't accept you, you don't even have to, you don't even need to worry about that at all. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you want to dress weird to school, just do it. I mean, you might get some weird glances, but that means that you're doing your job. You're making people look at you and everything. So yeah, that's what I'd say. It's just do what you're doing and you'll inspire people along the way. <laughs>